It's good. It's better than the last time we had uh, scrimmage. Better than last Saturday. So just improvements, all you can ask for. And um, you know, some guys made some plays, and we're pretty clean. So pretty happy about it. Well, over, just overall, it was better. Or was there a specific area that you were looking? Just cleaner. For? Just, just cleaner. cleaner. I mean, I mean, no turnovers, which was nice. Um, just more kind of just catch and throw deals and um, some holes, holes for the running back. It's nice to be able to get out there when it's contact because you can see what the backs and guys are able to do with the ball in their hands. So um, all those two, three yard gains when we're just tapping off turn into five, six yard gains when we're actually playing football. So that was good to see. You're getting that when is, is an adjustment getting used to playing with the, the back behind you, the, the, the fullback there? Is that something that's been not really when we first started, like some of those stuff that I'm doing like with my path with the back, it can, it can get kind of close and, and like how it's everyone's passing each other. But the guys do the jobs correctly and uh, I got to make sure that I'm on my right path and my right angles. Uh, it's never really a problem. What do you see with how you bring along that, that we haven't seen much of? Yeah, so we, I mean, a big part of the offense is finding what receivers we think are best at the routes that we're going to run. And we want to find those routes that we really want to kind of key in on and, and perfect, uh, at least in spring. And um, we found a couple guys uh, like Dane Key and Chris Lewis who are able to kind of go down the field and, and uh, make plays on either those like deep balls or like the daggers across the middle as the catches. DeMarcus has been doing well at those too. Um, we really like Tavion on those choice routes in the slot. And um, he has a really good feel for that. He, did, he has just a lot of experience with that and ran it very similarly to how we do when he was at Virginia Tech, so that's good. And um, yeah, those are just uh, some names of some guys that are, we like at certain cuts and different routes. What are some similarities and differences of Wondell and, and Tate? Um, so you know, it's definitely a little longer. So we're with Wondell sometimes, like I feel like maybe I had to play some balls just because like his frame, like um, I think I'm not really changing how I'm throwing it, but there is a little more room for error. You know, like if I miss a little more outside, I mean, just the fact of the matter, Tavion's a couple inches taller than Wendell, he's got a little bit more of a reach, so uh, it helps a little bit, I guess. And um, But they're very similar in just their feel on those cho choice routes and seeing defenses and knowing when the right opportunities are to sit it down, break in, break out. And um, just the more we do it and the more we talk about it, the better we'll be when the season comes, just for, with us being on the same page. What have you seen from some of those guys like Chris and Chauncey? They, they were here last year and went through, you know, we've learned this quite a, you know, a little bit, but they didn't get to play as much. And from going Yeah, down. I mean, they're determined. They, they want to prove that they deserve a spot. So, I mean, this offseason was huge for them. Both of them made huge strides, both like in the weight room and just mentally, just with football. And they've been working really hard to making sure they're coming into practice every day, knowing their responsibilities because of the opportunity that they have, um, which is great. We want that across the board, whether guys are fourth string or first string. We want them, if they have an opportunity to, to read through the script, to read through the possible plays they're going to be called for tomorrow so that we're ready to go when we get here. But those are the two guys that I uh, um, have done a really good job and have a limited amount of MAs so far in the spring and have shown that they, uh, they really care about and want to be good for this team. Have you gotten a throw to the young guys yet, like Dakel, Christian, Dade? Dakel's been, so, Dakel's been in and out so far in camp. Um, and uh, you said who else? Like uh, Chris Moose or Dane Key. Like, yep. What do you think of them so far? They're, they're all really good. I, I wish I'd have, I, I wish I had more time, and I will in the summer to work with Dakel and everything. And because what I saw from him, even from last camp before he got hurt, and the limited amount of time he had so far in this spring, um, he's made some flashes, and he can definitely make big plays for us. So, but other than that, uh, Chris and Dane have both really made huge strides, and um, those are the two names that we're really bringing, bringing along, and hope that, that can be big players for us. What difference does a healthy Keaton actually make <laughs> having that kind of target? Yeah, it helps. It helps a lot. I mean, we have we have really good tight end room, and um, it's uh, it's easy to forget sometimes that we don't have Isaiah right now too. So like, you know, we're going out there and doing really well on our twelve, and even. Um, well, 12 personnel where the two tight ends in the field, Bates and Keaton, have been doing a really good job. And then also even uh, Jordan Dingle and Dylan Wheatley, even the younger guys, or the other guys, um, have been able to go in and, and operate. So it's good to see that. We're going to have a good group of three, four solid tight ends that uh, I'm confident in. And so it's good to see Keaton out there playing because I didn't get to play with him all last year. So he's, he's got a good feel and just, we just got to keep bringing him along. Coach Ben a couple weeks ago talked about, you know, Physicalness and your ability to run. Is, is, what is that? How are you kind of, you know, handling that? I guess and you know, protect yourself. And, yeah. And no. I, I think it's it's just 
progressing and moving on and deciding when are the situations and knowing beforehand when are the situations where it, it does matter whether it's a third and four to five or a, it is a good idea to try to fight for those extra yards, maybe lower shoulder here and there. Or if it's a situation where it's not necessary to get those extra couple of yards where I, I can just slide. But definitely want to slide a little more this year. That's, <laughs> that's the goal. How hard is it just instinctually though? Because I mean, you, you seem like a guy that wants to, to make yeah. that contact. Yeah, I mean, it's I, I like it. I think it's a way to bring the team, bring the team's energy up. And um, it's kind of like, I know I have the ability to make those plays. So like, why leave those extra yards in the field, you know? But at the same time, you gotta be smart and um, gotta make the right decisions for the team. And sometimes the right decision is to just slide. Left tackle is a pretty big deal for the quarterback. Mm -hmm. How has uh, Buford yeah, been adjusting looks, to that? He's been looking good. He's, um, I think there's a lot, a lot of it's just like mental and he's got the keys and he's got the ability to be a really, really good left tackle for us. And I think just with the little things we've slipped up with here and there with all the O-linemen, not just him, have just been kind of just mental mistakes. It's nothing, nothing is lacking physically and talent-wise for anyone up there. And it's just going to be a matter of continuing to rep plays and continuing to just get in their playbook and knowing um, what protections are and what, what calls are for run plays and just to get them all on the same page. So he's been doing a good job. They did a good job, a really good job in protection today. And um, just kind of keep having them in group. Rich mentioned Tuesday things were a little sloppy, but Mark said it was getting better throughout the week. What kind of happened Tuesday, and what adjustments have you guys made in the short term? Um, I mean, Tuesday we just had some turnovers. Had a, I mean, bad decisions by us, uh, just unfortunate kind of happenings that happen. But, I mean, anytime you have a few turnovers in a practice, it's, it's not going to feel good. And um, we, we thought it was worse than it was, and then we went back and watched the film, and we felt better about it. Um, but it's just consistency. We got to be more consistent, and there's got to be the same standard from the ones all the way down to the threes. And um, like I said before, everyone there should be no excuses for anyone who doesn't know what they're doing on a play, just because most of the time we have a script and know what we're going to be running. So I mean, we've done a good job, but I think there's just improvement that needs to be done that only really comes from just repetition. You good? <laughs> yeah, they've been adding new stuff in almost every practice. I think they pretty much have the meat of what they, they are capable of throwing at us in right now. But like a practice like this is really nice because sometimes um, Coach Gangarello can kind of talk to uh, Coach White and say like, hey, we want this look on a certain play. Make sure you give us this so that I know I'm looking at the, what Will should be doing or whatever. Same thing with Coach White. He said like, we want formation and boundary here. We want trips on this play because we need to run this call to this certain look. So they work together a lot on that, but then when you get to situations like this, it's just call it and run it, and you kind of just got to trust your eyes and trust your rules. And um, it, it, it went really well. And they do a good job just disguising a lot of their stuff, and they mixed in a lot of man and zone today, which was good to see. And um, a lot of different blitzes that they've been bringing that we did a good job picking up today. Uh, it's not easy, it's good stuff. The, the fact that the line was able to make those calls and to keep me clean, even though I'm not getting tackled, was. Uh, Good. What do you guys want to do here through this week ahead of the spring game? Just how exciting is it? Yeah. Finally getting close. No, the fans are just take it one day at a time. And just take it one day, one day at a time. Um, even with the spring game, to treat it as a, as a practice and a day to get better, even though there's all this hype and fans will be there and all that. Just trying to want to make sure that um, we tip, make the most of all the opportunities we have. Because I mean, we have a couple of practices after spring too, because of the ones we missed before uh, break. So um, just. My goal for the offense and my image for the offense for the spring game and for by the end of spring is just for us to just feel clean, feel that we can call play, go up there, run it without any MAs on a consistent basis. And we're, re we're almost there, but it's just a couple things here and there, like a couple today where just kind of mental things that can't happen when we come the regular season. And I just want to get closer to that. You know, a year ago, you were transferring from Penn State and trying to find your footing here yeah. to yesterday. I mean, you're turning scouts' heads. Like, emotionally for you, like, what is that like to kind of, like, reflect? And I'm guessing you're in the throes of spring, but still, like, to reflect on that. Your yeah, journey. it's cool. I mean, I'm blessed. It's um, I just kind of did what I thought was the right decision and went with it, and it's going to work out. And um, just uh, try to do what's best with whatever's given to me. And sometimes things just work out that way.